what is up everybody welcome back to my channel today we are going to be talking about x defiant and how ironically not the cod killer but it definitely exposes how awful call of duty has been for the past let's just say five years so let's get right into it so just a quick overview of x defiant it's basically kind of like another version of call of duty arcade shooter more set on objective gameplay with abilities kind of like black ops 4 taking out of the kill streaks and such so Basically, it's a 5v, uh, 6v6, while competitive is 4v4, has very has its bare bones style within the Call of Duty, maybe because one of the Call of Duty former devs is one of the head uh, leads of gameplay design on this game. And you can really tell the difference of this team really knows what its identity is compared to what Call of Duty is. While Call of Duty is all about the lone wolf experience and the objective, ironically enough, to win the game is second nature compared to getting your kill streaks, getting your nukes and such. While in X Defiant, you can be your lone wolf. Problem is your score and your objective points, uh, and either winning or losing doesn't make any difference. So, what I really like about X Defiant, especially, especially on the gameplay side, the gameplay is smooth, it is fast paced, it is the definition of fast game fast paced gameplay i pull out an ar i'm going at normal speed i pull up my pistol you can and i go so much faster i like you can really tell the difference between pulling out your ar pulling out your pistol pulling out your sub pulling out your lmg and your sniper rifle. on a call of duty i feel like i am basically talking so slow with every single fucking weapon right i just feel like call of duty's gameplay right now is just so sluggish and so slow and it's just not fun at all but let's get into the weapons um the weapons themselves honestly weapon balancing for x defiant especially with uh all the betas they had and alphas they had is honestly at a really good pace right now i don't have any problems maybe you can make the argument that the mp7 the ak the vector the acr are a bit too strong but it doesn't feel like it's overpower overpowering strong maybe it's just like a tiny little tick where i can still dominate with the m16 i can still dominate with the p90 i can still dominate with any ar sub and i'll still have an easy chance while in call of duty Call of Duty, you literally have to use the metal weapon, and if you go, if you go anything past the metal weapon, you're going to get punished in your lobbies. Well, next to find, because there's no skill-based matchmaking, I can take any weapon, including a shotgun, if I want to fuck around, and I'll be like, yeah, whatever. I'll just pop a 30 easy kills. Well, in Call of Duty, like you're, like you're trying to play the objective. Well, I play the objective or I try to anyway. You go for your kill streaks, but you. You're, you get punished outside of like any other metal weapon. Like it's just crazy how X Defiant has really relied on you can pick up any game you want. Yeah, certain subs and certain ARs are probably better, but you're not still you're not gonna get punished for going outside of the metal weapon. Like I would say in X Defiant, you can still beat anybody on a 1v1 with any gun. It's just I don't know. It's just, I, I feel like there's more diverse diversity when it comes to weapons in X Defiant than ever has been in Call of Duty. Uh, just one problem, though, I have with X Defiant. We are kind of, the sniper rifles, especially with the quick scoping, is amazing, but it's a little too strong. There is no punishment when it comes to the recoil and, sorry, and the flinch and such. So uh, you can really tell... Like, for myself, I'm not the best sniper in the world, but there's been a couple of games in X Defiant where I popped off and put up, like, a 40 bum. And, like, again, that's nothing, like, huge, but as a person who doesn't snipe normally, yeah, I would say so. I haven't, I, like, again, I haven't sniped since, like, properly since Black Ops 2. And the fact that I'm able to pick up an X Defiant sniper and still pop up with a 40, that's kind of saying something. So I think there should be a little bit of a nerf when it comes to the sniper rivals. Uh, onto maps, I think X Defiant has honestly one of the best map pools. I don't think there's a single bad map. There is ones that I would rather play over others. But to be like personally, each map has a purpose. Like a map that's good in hardpoint might not be good in control. Or um, yeah, it's called control. 
or it might not be good in uh let's just say yeah hardpoint or dom like some of these maps are designed for specifically one game mode and you might have a situation where well this map is not good in domination but it's good in hardpoint slash occupy so it really gives a sense of map diversity to a certain degree where you don't constantly have to be like okay well we're playing the exact same three maps over and over because the rest suck but in x defiant we're like okay well we have an option to play any of these maps any of these maps are good there's just certain ones that are maybe are better but the rest are still good it's just i'd rather play on these ones because they're a lot more fun but that's to say that these other ones are bad um we'll go on to game modes uh game modes honestly i'm just so glad Team Deathmatch and Free For All are not currently in the map pool right now. Especially because of objective gameplay. This game, Backbone, and it's one of its major strengths is objective gameplay. And objective gameplay will get you the wins, will get you the fun. But like for some people, it's not that. While Team Deathmatch and Free For All just solely focus on kills. And again, that that is the objective in Team Deathmatch and Free For All, but like at the same time, I, I I don't think Team Deathmatch and Free For All work in a type of game like this. Even though it is similar to Call of Duty, where however Call of Duty can have a Team Deathmatch and Free For All, because it has the ability to be in a lone wolf perspective, and also team game play. Uh, sorry, team play. Uh, sorry, team gameplay. Or objective gameplay um again but for just the game modes currently right now i believe it's hard point slash occupy search uh not search of the right uh domination we got hot shot which is a mixture of kill confirm slash cranked um and i believe we have a i, I don't know how to describe i don't i don't know what it's called but it's basically you have two objectives it's like war kind of like you have to capture the first two object uh, it's like war from world war uh World of War 2, where it's um, 2, 1, 2 when it comes to uh, points, where the first two points you have to capture, then your team and stuff will get pushed back by one point, then there's a solo point that the attacking team has to capture, then if they capture that, they go to another two points. I can't remember what's it called off the top of my head, but I personally like that game mode, because it, it changes, like they have specific maps for these um that specific game mode which is i think is actually a really nice touch where if you're looking for something different more uh kind of like an overwatch feel mixture within call of duty that game mode uh i believe it's for i can't remember off the top of my head the proper name of it so i just call um convoy top of my head i just call it convoy and then uh we'll call it war because uh, i can't remember off the top of my head but like those two game modes have specific maps for um for their game mode, which is nice because then X Define doesn't have to rely on. Well, let's see if we can rely on making every single map available for every single game mode. And sometimes that just not doesn't work. But with designing specific maps for specific game modes, that gives uh the called well that gives um uh, X Defined devs a lot more creativity and flexibility when it comes to designing um maps around um Occupy, Domination and such. Uh what I am looking for apparently, there's been some links on new game modes. I've seen Search and Destroy coming soon in season one. I've seen Infected and I believe I can't remember off the top of my head, there's like two other oh capture the flag which I think is the most underrated game mode and it should be in a staple in every single Call of Duty. But unfortunately, nobody likes Capture the Flag and it's kind of annoying because it's my personal favorite game mode. So let's get into the major strengths and weaknesses of X Defiant. Um, strengths, gameplay is smooth. The purpose I personally find is great. Uh, the weapon balancing is amazing. Uh, the speed of which the high, uh, high pace gameplay is, is amazing. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it for now. Uh, the, oh, the leveling up system. I absolutely adore where you have the classic of, well, I'm going to rank up my account or my profile to one to a hundred. 
but the guns and equipment and such are not aren't behind any of these levels they're actually behind challenges that you have to complete to unlock however these are not like hard challenges at all these are like get 20 hit fire kills with a submachine gun or get 20 hit uh point blank kills with a submachine gun or um get 20 kills with a long range AR or like a, a long, long shot metal for an AR or something like that. Like these challenges are specifically meant for these uh, weapon classes. And so they really like make sure they don't fuck you over and make you rant, like dramatically change your gameplay style. My, me personally. That's what I, I honestly, that's one of my actually favorite features of X Defiant when I first found out that. If I want to unlock um, the EMP grenade, I have to destroy like I think like I have to put in two thousand damage worth of onto equipment and such, which I quite enjoyed. Um, because you have to like, it just makes sense. It kind of makes sense like to unlock something that destroys equipment. Well, you got to destroy equipment. <laughs> My weaknesses though come with, unfortunately, and I'm very scared about this. The monetization stuff for new classes and i'm not worried about the skins really but more mostly the new classes where currently right now one of the new classes is i believe it's like a dead con a def con class from watchdogs 2 where they do a hacking hacking stuff and i'm okay with the class like i don't mind it being behind like a paywall perhaps my only question is for the people who don't want to fork over the money how are they going to unlock it so like what i really like about valorant is every agent is pretty much available for everybody as soon as a new agent is released thing is you can either buy the new agent or you have to unlock it through a like someone like three four hour grind which is okay because valorant games are like basically 45 minutes games so basically you have to pay like five games of valorant and you have the chance to unlock the new character which is for some people not everybody's favorite but that's okay but for x defiant there's no really clear uh avenue of where um to unlock any of the new classes um, I do ha also have to worry that some of the cl some classes are better than the others, but that's always a balancing aspect that they can eventually reach in the future. Uh, weapon balancing again, always you can always retune the weapons. I think sniper rivals are a bit too strong. Uh, two of the ARs and two of their subs are a bit too strong compared to the others, but at the same time, I also seen gameplay of one of the LMGs is absolutely broken. So yeah. Um. And that's pretty much it for weaknesses. Oh, the hit hit detection stuff. There is some questions about the hit detection, but I think that will eventually solve itself in due time with the devs. We just got to be patient about that. Yeah, that could be annoying just a bit, but at the same time, you 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 just got to be patient about stuff like that. Like you can't really do anything. But just, all we have, well, all we can do as a community is point it out, be like, "Well, fix it. You got to fix this." I'm dying behind, dying around corners, like, should not be happening. Be respectful about it. Don't be a dick. I know it's hard for some of you, but yeah. Uh, now, on to the Call of Duty community. The Call of Duty community reacting to this game is absolutely ridiculous. Like, it's borderline blasphemy. I, I don't know how many react. I pulled up some tweets that I saw, and... It left me scratching my head because, like, you guys have one purpose, and one purpose only, and it's all about getting kills. And that's not what these arcade shooters are. Well, some of the, like, yes, like, yes, the best part about these games is, like, well, you got to kill your opponent, right? Well, at the second time, it's, like, the meme is true where it's, like, Call of Duty players, ironically, don't play the objective. When the objective is after the hard point or play search and destroy properly well everybody wants to go for kills well the kills are a 
byproduct of playing the game but the, your primary job is to win the game right and if to win the game that means get 250 points on this hard point why the hell are you like on the opposite side of the goddamn map doing absolutely nothing for your team while not playing the hard point other again there's a difference between different play styles like if you're an anchor and stuff or a slayer i get that but like i swear some of y'all are just absolutely just like one dimensional in your gameplay and it really shows like there's a reason why i had i think a three point like a three point win loss ratio in black ops 4 for a reason where i all i did was play the objective and i did not kill for my kd so let's pull up some tweets Okay, so let's pull up uh, Carnage Apollo's tweets, I guess. X Defiant's biggest problem right now is a lack of purpose in gameplay. During the match, it feels like I'm not really working towards anything, whether it be kill streaks from nukes. There's an ultimate for a reason. You play the objective and you work your way into an ult that can change the game. Just saying. But. It's causing a lackluster feeling, no dopamine kicks during a match. Well, I think the dopamine effect should... Well, I'm not going to tell you how you can like this game, but like at the same time, it's like... This feels like a one-dimensional approach against an arcade shooter compared to a game like Call of Duty, where it's like... Or sorry, where X Defiant is basically win the game. Your job is to win the game. Nothing else but to win the game. Um, he does a good and bad. Uh, feel free to play, which is always great. Great maps, mid air strafe movement is unique. No skill based matchmaking, which is amazing. Satisfying gunplay, all good, all good points. La lackluster gameplay with no goals. I think, again, the goals is to win the game. Like, it's baffling that the fact that I'm not, I'm not like, I, I would say I'm an average Call of Duty player. Maybe above average compared to some people that they see in my gameplay. But like, I'm nowhere a god, but the fact that I have like a... Th uh, in Black Ops 3, or not Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, I had a 3 point win, like a 3 win-loss ratio. The fact because I just focus on playing the objective and not just getting kills is baffling. Uh, no kill streaks, nuke purpose. Again, that Call of Duty is the only game in particular with kill streaks. X Defiant doesn't. There's a good reason why. Because it alternate it changes the gameplay. Where if you have something like uh, Call of Duty, where yes, kill streaks can pretty much change the game and format, but it's not the main thing, right? You're not going to get in a rank game. You're not going to get a freaking nuke. I'm just saying, like, you're supposed to there to win the game. Even even in unrated games, you go for kills and you win the game. It's as simple as that. And if you want if you want a kill streak, you basically play the echelon class and you get that one shot deagle ability, which is amazing. <laughs> basically, the only class I play. That's where my dopamine hits when I get a six or seven k with the pistol. That's when I that's when I feel it in this game. Health regen a health regen is a too slow. I kind of agree with that. To a certain degree, I think they need to make the health regen start a bit faster, but you can keep the exact same aspects for like a half a second, a little like a half a second faster with the regen can make a huge difference. You can maybe turn down the amount that you regen from, but I'm just saying, I, th I think that is a, a fair criticism of Exofine so far. Uh, desync and dine around corners, we've already talked about that, that's actually pretty fair. Okay. I might just show two tweets, but those are the like two main tweets that like really ticked me off. But th that's just me. I will say though, Call of Duty is good. F it's been a good franchise for many years for a reason. But at the same time, I'm not looking forward to any future Call of Duties for a long time compared to someone like X Defiant. I'm actually looking forward to more uh, changes to the UI. More gameplay aspects, more game modes, new guns, the camos are fun. Um, there's a few, few things I'm worried about, but that's honestly, those are some stuff that you just have to let your feedback know about. Yep. 
But basically, that's my it for my review of X Defiant slash my not really exposure, but just me talking about why I think X Defiant currently right now is a looking a lot better than Call of Duty has been in the last five years. And I think for a lot of these reasons, mostly because of the gameplay reasons, I think the gameplay in X Defiant is absolutely top tier and better than both. Probably the better than most Call of Duties since maybe Cold War. Me personally, I love Cold War. And then, um, and for mo other people, maybe Black Ops 4. So hit the, if you like this content, guys, uh, hit the like and subscribe down below. I'm looking forward to making more content than the next Defiant for my channel. And I'm probably going to be streaming it out anytime soon. So again, hit the like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time on this channel. So peace out, everybody.